Welcome to our lesson 11. This is about identifying and understanding functions and domain and range of the function. These are the agenda. What is a function? Then function notation. We have some practice problem from the function. Then domain and range of the function. Then we will do more practice. So <clears throat> what is a function first of all? A function is actually a rule that changes one number into another number a function is some kind of some kind of system some kind of mechanism that this is like something like a factory you know something like a factory you give some input and then output is something something else uh, you give some raw material suppose you uh, in a garments what you give you give some uh, you know some just raw clothes or something or some just thread then they give you short pant out of the production you know so function is some kind of mathematical machine that uh, does that kind of thing and if you if you need some example let's let me let me show you an example this is some kind of machine as you can see if we give some input we get some output from this machine one example is here let's say 5x plus 20 if x equals to 5x plus 20 this is a function this is a function if x equals to i need this if x equals to 5x plus 20 this is a function and in this function of x if you put different value of x you will see some different answer will start coming suppose if you put x equals to 1 here you will get 5 plus 20 that is 25 so if you give 5 in my example according to my example if you go 5 you get 25 you get you get uh, if you give 1 if you give 1 you get 25 if you give 1 we get 25 and if we give 5 we can see 5 into 5 means 25 25 plus 20 means 45 45 so you see for some certain input we get some other output and then this thing is a function this is the notation of the function and this is the function fx 5x plus 20 so this 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 part here actually we can consider this part is working like a machine which produces something else for us based on the condition that we give so that's why we said that a function is a rule that changes one number into another number or one thing to another thing uh, in a broader sense when you put a certain number in you always know what number will come out so if you put five you always know what will come do you understand answer will come what you will always know that it's not like okay if i put two i do not know what will come here we of course we know if we put two here our answer will be answer will be what if we put 2 here, x equals to 2, then our answer is 5 into 2, that means 10, 10 plus 20, that means 30. So we know what answer will come in from this, uh, from this machine, from this function. So see, for 5, if we put 5 in this function, our answer is 45. If, you, if we put uh, 5 in this function, our answer is 85. If we put, put 5 here, our answer is 10 so we for different function we have some different different answers and we always know that if we put some value what we will generate what this function will generate what it will generate we always know that this is the formal definition of uh, function from the book of course if let uh, let x and y be two non-empty sets non-empty sets means there must be something uh, a function from x into y is a relation that associate with each element of x exactly with one element of y the same thing that we have written in the in our previous page the same same example what does this what does this i know you will have a question about this uh, first part what does this thing mean you see there is an important thing here in this line a relation that associate with each element of x exactly with one element of y 
so there will be something like x there will be something like y and this statement here is saying each element of here will be associated with only one element of uh, y which we have example in the next page in this page you will see this first thing there are like couple of post box so this is the let me draw let's draw the arrow say we have this arrow there this is how they are related so now see this this letter here minus 2 you will find it in the box number 4 you will find this letter in this box number this you will find this this letter in this box this way this uh, example is uh, made suppose that these are our x these are our y and we know that x will be the letter and y will be the post box now you see one letter here if you open this box number four you will you will get this letter number minus two some we are just we are giving some number it is some random number if you open this two you will get this uh, zero number later now look at this this example if you open this for this one for minus one if you open this minus two number uh, two number box and one number box you will get the same letter is this possible uh, is this possible in real life you will open this uh, this box and that box you will get the same letter this is impossible and this is what actually our function is telling us that one thing one input one thing here cannot be in two different two different boxes so based on the definition actually we can say that this is a function something like this this is a function something like this and this is not a function why the reason is one element here in the x is associated with two answer two box you cannot get a same thing exact same thing in two different box hmm. you cannot get like this because if this uh, minus one number letter is here in this uh, post box number two then it's not there actually it's either here or not there uh, or, or there it cannot be in a both both of this place so uh, we can now see actually that what that uh, statement said that from the x each element of x each element means minus two is element zero is element one is element two is element so they are the element each of them will be associated with or linked with just only one answer here or one box here then it is a function if if something is associated with two box then it is not a function yeah. here you can see all of them are uh, this is minus two goes to the uh, goes to the goes to the four and this is minus one goes here this is zero goes here now you can say sir uh, the, for this four we have two letters which is fine because in one box you can actually get two different letters they are different minus two and two they are different letter so yeah, this is possible yeah. but for minus two it is not two answer do you understand for uh, for minus two it's not two different thing yeah. if for minus two two different uh, box then it is not a function okay this is minus 2 you can get this letter here you can get this uh, for 2 you can get this here so that's possible that's no problem but from one thing here you cannot generate two answer you cannot generate two box for, from one thing in the x this is what the condition of the function so condition of the function is each x value will have only one y value each x value one answer see each of them one answer if all of them have same answer no problem but one cannot have two different things. Do you understand? What does it mean? Suppose two here, then this also here, this also here, this also here. No problem. Yeah, because you can have in one box, you can have all of them, all of the letters conceptually. And based on our condition also, we are actually having all the, all the element of X. Actually, none of them has two, same, 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 uh, uh, this this uh, x value nine of them has two different answer uh, this one has only one answer which is here in my last example this one has one answer which is here it's not like zero has two answer it's not like that uh, so one can 
uh, all of them can even can go to one box no problem but the problem is what this is important that's why I'm, I'm actually emphasizing in this uh, slide again and again problem is here one thing cannot have two answers so let's go uh, to So we have this uh, from our textbooks, like which one is a function, which is which which is not a function. You can see that mobile. Let's say the gas from the gas station. Mobile price is this. Shell price is this. Then uh, Sunoco is this. Seven Eleven is this. So this is the price of uh, price of regular per gallon. So these are the dollars number of uh, per gallon uh, price is this. So is this a function? Question is that, and you can say that yeah, this is a function because uh, 7 11 their price is this and this is only one price so it's no problem here also from minus 2 you get this so they are function they are res resembling the function 1 if you if your input is if you are for 1 your answer is 4 for 2 answer is 5 for 3 answer is 6 for 7 answer is uh, answer is uh, for 3 6 and for 4 7 so we have different different answers so all of them are function which is not a function let me show you then you will understand it suppose here in this example uh, let's say 1 comma 4 then 2 comma 5 then let's say 1 comma 6 then let's say 4 comma 7 hmm now it is not a function this is a function it is not a function why why see see the see the differences See, we said that for 1, in this time we said that for 1, answer is 4, for 1 it is 4, but here again we are saying that for 1, answer is 6, this is the answer, for 1, answer is 6, so this is not possible, in the function, it is not a function, it is something else, but it is not a function, to be a function, all of them has to be different, like for same thing, all the output has to be different, this is 1, 4, okay, no problem, but for one now any other, other value cannot uh, we cannot take for one hmm. for two we said five okay for two we said five no problem but for two now we cannot say that okay for two five here for two something else six here or minus three here no pro uh, that's not possible so this is not a function because of this same x value but different y value these are the y value actually these are the y value these are the x value first value is the x value second value is the y value we will uh, we will uh, uh, come to some more detail uh, on that actually hmm. so uh, the decision here is if for the same input if we if we have different different output then it is not a function so it is not a function but it is a function for one it is four for two it is five so you see all the values are different for uh, suppose one it is four there is no other one in the input and different output there is nothing like that same goes here so uh, how it becomes not a function if you draw a line like this then it is not a function anymore suppose this value if it has two different output uh, if it is to associated with two different output then it is not a function anymore uh, and uh, we have so these are the these are the more example of uh, we have like area of a square area of a square which is x square then circumference of a circle which is 2 pi r we have all of these things basically we can uh, make we can write it in terms of some uh, parameter you know these are the these are the examples we can uh, think about from our real life subscription wages inter interest investment temperature position over time then falling object then we can actually write some equation uh, like this 2x square minus 3x and this is like y equal to x square some function we can we can make and we can generate hmm. this kind of thing if we know the variable x value y value what and what is the condition if we know the condition we can always make some function and then we can do the math uh, based on that that kind of function then a w percentage and cjp now that that uh, the thing that I said in the last page input and output so input are the value that we give uh, in the function and output is the result output is the result y equal to 3x minus 2 so here input is the value that we will give for x suppose x equals to 2 x equals to 3 x equals to 4 whatever the value of x we put 
they are the input and when you put when you put the value of x equals to say 1 1 then it is 3 into 1 3 minus 2 equals to 1 if we put 2 then it is 6 minus 2 equals to 4 so this 1 and 2 they are input 1 and 4 they are output this 1 and 2 because we are putting it here these are, these are the input and these are the output these are the output also this uh, this input is sometimes called the argument of the function argument so this is the equation y goes to 3x minus 2 then fx equals to 3x minus 2 they mean the same thing yeah. In, instead of instead of y we write fx then it becomes a function uh, let's look at the clear distinction between the function basically mathematically they will uh, they will resemble the same thing always this is equation y equal to 3x minus 2 this is the equation why it is the equation because there is a equal equal to sign in the middle somewhere we have some equal to sign inside it so this is equation and this is function and this y is written as fx y y is the fx here hmm. we are writing it in a function form we are writing it in a function form but this fx will always mean the same thing this this will mean y and this will mean y same type of operation that we are saying we are saying that they are the same time of same type of operation here hmm. suppose how do uh, the thing that we said okay let's say let's put three here let's put three here so yeah two here so if we put we can put three also no problem so if we put three uh, two 2 into 3 means 6, 6 minus 2 equals to 4, answer we get 4, let's put 2 here, I am just showing that they are same, if we put uh, 2 here, 2 into 3 equal to 6, 6 minus 2 equal to 4, so you see we are getting the same answer here and here, so this value equals to 4, this value equals to 4, that means they are the same thing, this fx and y, they are the same thing, okay, uh, but this is actually better, uh, for understanding for analyzing the problems and that's why we will in the more in the coming uh, pages chapters and uh, discussions uh, mostly we will use the this word function 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 eh? but basically they will mean the same thing eh? they will mean the same thing and actually this is more clear this is more clear fx is when you write fx equals to 3x minus 2 this is more clear what we are trying to say because actually this uh, x value we are trying to put and then we get some answer for fx yeah. so this is more clear actually in terms of definition finding the value of the function so the thing that I said uh, we have to put the value of uh, uh, x or the argument this is called the argument whatever the value is given say for example if we say that find the value of this function if x equals to 3 so then you have to do this way f of 3 equals to 3 into 3 minus 2 3 into 3 means 9 so 9 minus 2 equals to 7 this way a function is a function is implicit which means that it is given by an equation this is implicit this is still a function but this is implicit and explicit is fx equals to when you write fx equals to this then it is explicit what does it mean let me show you that from the last page so you see fx y equal to 3x minus 2 then fx equals to 3x minus 2 so i said that they are same thing yeah so that they must be same actually in reality also they are same this is written directly in function that's why it is called explicit and this is not exactly written that way but it means the same same thing but it is not written that way so it is called implicit this is the implicit form this is the explicit form of the function and this is how you can find out the value here here x value suppose x value is 1 so what is the answer this kind of calculation suppose x value is 1 then 2 by 1 equals to 2 x value is 16 that means 2 by 16 equals to what so x value is root suppose root of 16 root of 16 means 4 yeah, like that p plus q means you have to write just p plus q here okay then x value is let's say 16 so 6 into 16 is squared so we have to put that that value here this is for just calculation uh, and this is 6 into p plus q whole square because uh, this is the value of x we are saying for the calculation for the calculation purpose 
So whatever the value of x is given, we just have to put it here and do the calculation. That's it. These are the value of x. These are the value of x. We will try to solve this math in our class and then now let's talk about the domain and range. Actually, uh, technically we discussed a bit about that in our previous example also. Let's, let's go back and bring that example here. So fx equals to 3x minus 2. Okay, let's write it here. fx equals to fx equals to 3x minus 2. So we said that if we put x equals to 1, then our 3 into 1 means uh, 3, then minus 2 means 1. If we put x equals to 2, our answer is 4. If we put x equals to suppose 0, our answer is minus 2. 0 into 3 into uh, this 0, then my answer is minus 2. So you see, what we have done here is, we just uh, we just gave some random value from ourselves. Then, if you give this value to this function, this function generates all this output. Okay. This value, the value that we give in the as an argument or the value that we put for the x, they are the domain of the function. They are the domain, and range are the output. Output are the range. After the calculation, whatever you get, that is the range. Okay, the domain are the input of the function, hmm. and you will see that in a while we will uh, we will discuss like all the values always cannot be domain. Yeah. Let's look at this function y equals to f x equals to one by x. Sometimes there are some restriction. That is what we are trying to uh, talk here. Suppose in our previous example, y goes to 3x minus 2, you can put anything you want. But here, in this example, if you put, this is, since this is 1 by x, we are discussing this function now. <coughs> since this is 1 by x, now see, in the 1 divided by x, now x equals to 0, you cannot put. If you put x equals to 0, this function is undefined. 1 divided by 0 means undefined. That means, 0 you cannot put, we cannot put. We can put any other value, but 0 we cannot put. So this function is undefined this way. That's why all real number is input, but not 0. All real number is input, but not 0. The, these are uh, two more ways to write the same thing. That means from minus infinity to 0 and 0 to infinity, but 0 is not included, they are the domain. Not included means first bracket. That's why not included. Or we can say that the value of x here will be less than 0 or greater than 0. But not 0. It means less than 0 means what? The value which is smaller than 0. Greater than 0 means the value which are more than or greater than 0. Hmm. But not 0. 0 can, we cannot put here. And another type of function where we have restriction is is this. Suppose if you have a function like square root of x, now you see you cannot put any negative number here. Suppose negative minus 1, negative minus 1, this is undefined. So we have to put here all the positive value or we can put 0 also, but all the positive value we have to put here. We cannot put negative value because this is undefined, like this one, undefined. So what I am trying to say is, not always we cannot put all the value. Sometimes there are some restriction. This is what I am trying to say. In the function, this is not like always whatever we want, we can put. Yes, we can put, but all of them will not give us answer. Like this one, this is not giving us answer. That means there is some restriction. There is some restriction. We, we can try to put, answer will not come. So that is the restriction, where the answer is not coming. And in the from the domain, then we have to exclude that thing, what is not coming. Suppose the domain of this function will be, all the numbers wh uh, which is uh, 0 or more than 0, 0 or plus 0. Hmm. From 0 to plus infinity, we can say. From 0 to plus infinity. All the value we can put here. But minus number uh, we cannot put. Minus number we cannot put here. Minus number we cannot put here.
we will uh, in the in the future actually that negative uh, that is square root that kind of function graph etc etc we will draw and we will show you in more detail uh, what is actually going on so domain and range of the function this is more discussion see we, we are saying the same thing this is square root of function then uh, this cannot be negative so we cannot put that value here also see this is x squared divided by x plus 1 so if the value of x is minus 1 then the denominator downside becomes 0 that means x cannot be minus 1 we cannot put minus 1 in this function so these are the more examples of uh, this kind of domain and range like the input and output that kind of thing this is about let's say if we write the dining hall of a w as a function so we write it this way then number x is this representation for the variable x then we can actually put this value here and then think about okay what are the uh, answer coming here so the whole number between what is the domain of this function 0 to 575 because first of all we define we give that is this restriction uw has 575 students and 125 faculty so for this is some previous uh, statistics of course so 575 will be for some certain period of time that will be the domain because we cannot exceed that number and if we just think about the students then okay so 500 taka for dining hall staff member salaries and 20 taka per each meal so this will give us your cost of total total uh, money uh, what is the uh, what is what equation represents total cost as a function of meals eaten so suppose if you eat five meal so, so what what is the amount of money you have to pay you have to just put here five if you eat let's say in a month's total 60 meal but if you eat suppose 50 uh, or 40 meals then you put here 40 then you you put here 40 you put here 40 then you will get the uh, solution of total amount of bill that you will have to pay if 20 taka is per meal which is not exactly the case and yeah, so we can model our uh, real life thing and then we can actually find out the solutions for different uh, practical situations okay or these are the x is the whole number between so here Consider the following: the total cost of AW uh, dining was 50, 500 taka for each dining and plus 20 taka for each meal eaten. So, what is the domain of this function? Like, how many students are eating? Yeah, this is actually this x in this function. It represents how many x students are meeting uh, eating in a specific uh, period of time. In this case, in this case, we can put it this way. Yeah, this function is since this is the domain from this information we can understand that x will represent here the number of students who are taking the meal here suppose uh, today lunch time 400 students is taking the meal so we will put 400 here then this will tell us this function will tell us what is the total amount of money uh, this today from today's lunch we are getting and this function will tell us this this is that kind of example of course we can actually modify this example to represent some other things also as i said for individual purpose also we can actually find it out so this is another uh, another uh, practice thing that we will try to solve during our class time and these are the homework these are the homework uh, you will try to solve these maths and uh, of course we will discuss more on this uh, in our uh, class and in, our, in the coming class we have more uh, class on this same section this is from 2.1 so we have more class on this same section all right so thank you all thank you very much have a good day everyone see you all in the class bye bye